Welcome to this first in a series of screencasts on working with parameterizations. In this series of screencasts, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through examples, important and standard examples in parameterizations, so as to get some familiarity with um, the various ideas. And then I'll, at the end, I'll discuss some advice for sketching curves based on parameterizations and generating parameterizations, that is to say, constructing parameterizations for a given curve that you might need to, to work with. So we're going to begin with some examples, and the first examples are very simple, and I will start with something that I should discuss in lecture. And that's simply a circle centered on the origin, so the parameterization is r of t is equal to, and I'm just going to do this in two dimensions, r cosine t, r sine t, I'll assume capital R here is a positive real number. T has to be in some interval, and we'll take it to be in naught 2 pi. So we know what this looks like. It's a circle. Actually, I think I'll draw the circle first. Let's draw a circle, radius R, and then I'll draw some coordinate axes, my Y axis, my X axis. So I won't always label the axes, but it's always understood this will be the X axis, the Y axis. And then one can easily see this vector r for any t has a magnitude capital R. And let me just draw it. So that is to say, here is r of t, some particular t, say this t is between naught and pi over 2. For all t, for any, for any uh, time t, the magnitude of r of t is of course capital R, and hence this is a circle centered on the origin. Okay, so I don't think there's there's much else to, to say about that particular example, so let's go on. The next thing one might want to do, in fact frequently wants to do, is to consider such a case, but not centered on the origin, but centered on some other point. So let me write parameterization. So we have r of t is equal to a plus r cosine t, b plus r sine t, uh, and again, I won't repeat, but t is in the same um, interval here. So let me just go ahead and write this now. So this clearly is of the form vector a, b, plus the previous case. And so we immediately see that what we have now is, again, a circle, but now shifted over by a, b, so now centered on this point a, b. And so let me draw it. Let me do the circle first. Should have saved it from before. Drawn from a circle meant to be the same one. It's a little smaller, but uh, okay. And what I'm going to do actually is I want to. Um, I'm going to need several circles, so let me just save that one. Now let's draw the coordinates. Ah, now so the point is now I'm going to draw. Let me draw the coordinates over here first independently. So there's my coordinates, x, y, and what I want to do now is I'm going to center this on the point AB, and I can choose AB to be any point I want. So I'll just pick some arbitrary point, say there, and that'll be A, B, and this circle, still was meant to have radius R, will now be centered on this point. And in fact, uh, just to be completely clear, why don't we draw our vector here. This now is, this now is R of T. Of course, it no longer has magnitude uh, capital R for all t, because, well, you could just see it doesn't. Now, this seems uh, rather trivial here, but uh, it's, it's actually important to keep in mind because it's very useful for a number of cases. In particular, let's consider the following. Suppose uh, you were asked to parameterize the following. So again, these are my coordinate axes. I, on purpose, you know, downshifted this. So this, again, is x, and this is y. But suppose um, I asked you to uh, parameterize the following curve, and now I'll be happy I saved that. And what I'm going to do is um, erase part of it. Sorry to be obsessive here, but this now we'll move it over here. Suppose I now ask you to, um, to parameterize uh, this curve. Now this is meant to be continuing all the way there. So that's a semicircle, but it's not centered on the origin. In particular, let's uh, go ahead and assume that this point here is a capital R. Excuse me, let's make it clear. Zero R. If this is, say, a piece of some, some curve that you want to parameterize, um, or there, 
entire curve itself that you would like to parameterize, then um, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to, what's the center? The center is zero R, and then you have the circle. But, all right, let's just do it. So this parameterization will be, this curve here will be R of T will be equal to, going to shift, not going to shift at all while it indicated zero, plus R cosine T comma shift by R, R plus R sine T. Let's simplify it, I'm sorry, let's just do it fast. In order to have a semicircle, you need to restrict the, the range of t to be in the interval, in this case, minus pi on 2 to pi on 2. So if you need to make a little semicircle not centered on the origin, this is the kind of thing you would do. So next example. Let's go to a new page. The next example, um, or yeah, the next example in the notes that I will consider is something three-dimensional. Well, this case is rather simple. It's three-dimensionally. R of t is equal to naught uh, b plus r cosine t comma c plus r sine t. Again, t in the same range as I've been considering before. So this, again, is a circle. It's now centered on y equal, well, on x equal 0, y equal b, and z equal c. So this is probably really a subject for for the section on sketching, but uh, but it's here, so let's do it. So now I have to draw three-dimensional axes. Now actually, this is not at all difficult to do, uh, as long as I put the x-axis here, which would be no natural anyway, the y-axis here and the z-axis here, and that's to consider where we're going to center this. Well, the center is going to be at x equals zero, so it's in this in this plane, and y on B. Oh, let's just actually, let's, let's take B over here. Let's make it negative. B is a negative number, and I'll take uh, C to be positive, and that's C. So that will be the center of my circle. And if I still remembered the circle, yes it does, I can now just place it here. And this circle sits in the um, YZ plane, and there we go. So I think, uh, I think at this point, what I'll do is I'll, I'll stop and continue on in the next screencast.